Hi, so I hope everyone's well. In this uh, video today, we're going to be looking at the area between a curve and the x-axis. Uh, what we're doing is looking about, about finding the area trapped between your curve, the x-axis, and normally between two lines, A and B. And the formula for this is given here, where you integrate between the two points, A and B, um, your curve with respect. To x and the proof isn't needed but basically all you're doing is summing because that's what integration does lots of little rectangles here where the height's given by y and the width is given by dx okay so find the area between the curve x squared plus 2 and the x-axis between the lines x equals 2 and x equals 3 okay sometimes it's helpful to draw um, a little sketch of what you're doing so x squared plus 2 it's just a good little bit of revision of transformation this is a parabola which has been lifted up by 2 so it's been lifted up from 2 and we wish to find the area between lines 2 and 3 so we want to find the area inside this bit here okay so we integrate between 2 and 3 so there are limits from 2 to 3 and we integrate f of x, which is the same as y, which is basically the equation of our curve. So that's x squared plus 2 dx. And when we integrate, we add 1 to the power, and then we divide by the new power. So this becomes x cubed over 3 plus 2x. And the square bracket notation, if you remember, tells us that we need to substitute in our higher limit and then take away... Um, the substitution of our lower limit. So we substitute 3 into this, so that gives you 27 over 3, plus 2 times 3 gives you 6, and then take away, substituting 2 in, uh, 2 cubed over 3, plus 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, so you sort that all out, and as I've said before, if you are likely to make a mistake with your um, fractions, please put this in your calculator, so just avoid making an error. All right, so this gives us a sum, uh, a total of 25 over 3. Now, um, we can write square units there or units squared. In maths, it doesn't matter so much. Um, obviously, in physics, they're very keen on you having your units written in. Okay, now, we can get um, a curve which crosses the x-axis, like this one. So, part of it's above and part of it's below. And when we're above the x-axis, when we work out our integral, we get a positive result. And when we're below, we get a negative result. So if we integrated all the way from here to here, you could find you could get a result of zero because the two bits cancel each, at, at each other out. So what we do is find the two areas separately and then add them, um, but disregarding the negative sign. Okay, so here's an example of that. Find the area between y equals x squared minus 1 and the x-axis between uh, x equals 0 and x equals 2. I'm not sure that made sense. But anyway, you have your curve x squared minus 1. So that's a transformation of a parabola um, quadratic down 1. And we're looking at finding it between x equals 0 and x equals 2. And we can see we go through um, the x-axis. So we want to split this into two regions. We want to split it into the A region and the B region. So we find the area of A. Um, using the formula. So the area of A we're going to find between 0 and 1, so our limits are 0 and 1, and then we take our y or our f of x is x squared minus 1, integrate, add 1 to the power, divide by the adjusted power, so this becomes x cubed over 3 minus 1. We put our limits in here, then substitute in, and this gives us minus 2 thirds uh, u squared I'm using for my unit squared. And then for area B, this time I'm looking at the area here, and so this is between 1 and 2. So my limits, I'll get the same integration, but this time I need to be going between 1, which I've missed out here, 1 and 2. Um, and when you put this all in and sort it out, you'll get the 4 thirds u squared. You can give that a check if you're not sure. Okay, so the total area between the curve and the x-axis between our lines x equals 0 and x equals 2 will be the sum of these two when we ignore the negative sign. So we'd get 2 thirds plus 4 thirds, which gives you 6 thirds, which gives you 2 units squared. Okay, I hope that's helpful.